Hello everyone. Welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Surely walnuts are a staple in your diet, aren't they? With their rich flavor and high nutritional value, walnuts have become one of the most beloved nuts in the U.S. In this video, join us as we explore the vast walnut orchards stretching across America. Did you know that every year, American farmers harvest billions of pounds of walnuts? From the flowering walnut groves to each delicious nut, the walnut processing journey is a complex one that incorporates advanced technology. Join me as we start to discover how American farmers produce such an enormous amount of walnuts. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. California is the main producer of walnuts in the U.S., accounting for about 99% of the national output and is the world's leading exporter. With an average price of about $1.50 to $2 per pound, walnut farming contributes approximately $2 billion to the American economy. Walnuts thrive best in climates with cold winters, which allow the trees to rest, and long, warm summers, which are ideal for fruit development. The soil in California, especially in the Central Valley region, is well suited for walnut cultivation due to its deep, loose, and well-drained properties. Walnut trees begin to bear fruit after about five to seven years, making the cultivation process a test of patience. The first step in the planting process is tilling the soil. The soil must be thoroughly prepared before planting walnut trees. It needs to be loose, well-drained, and nutrient-rich. Modern plows are used to till the soil. Walnut trees are best suited to soil with a pH of about 6 to 7. Walnuts can be grown from seeds and by grafting. Nurseries use grafting techniques to produce uniform quality seedlings, which helps ensure consistency in the quality of the plants. Nurseries also easily control factors such as temperature, nutrition, and water supply to optimize the growth of the seedlings. Once the saplings are large enough, they are taken to large farms for planting. Walnut trees are planted in straight rows, typically spaced 9 to 10 meters apart to give them enough room to grow. The saplings are placed directly into pre-dug holes, after which, the farmer fills the soil around the roots and gently compresses it to eliminate air pockets, ensuring the tree is firmly secured in the ground. After the trees are planted, watering becomes an essential component to ensure good growth. To provide a steady amount of water to hundreds or even thousands of walnut trees, farms often employ modern irrigation systems. At this farm, a drip irrigation system is used, an efficient water-saving method that delivers drop by drop to the soil through a network of small diameter plastic tubing equipped with tiny nozzles called drippers or emitters. Once the trees have reached the appropriate size, farmers perform pruning to improve sunlight exposure, enhance air circulation, and boost nut production. As the tree grows larger, pruning can be done with specialized machinery. Fertilizing and spraying pesticides are also especially important for the trees to grow well. Specialized machinery will be used in large walnut orchard. This is often done selectively, only when necessary and following strict guidelines to minimize any adverse effects on the environment and the health of the trees. The pesticides used must be approved and safe for walnut trees. After about five years, walnut trees mature and begin to flower. In California, walnut trees typically start flowering from late March to early April. This flowering period is crucial to ensure efficient pollination, as the warm air and minimal rain help disperse pollen by wind, creating ideal conditions for walnut trees to be pollinated and begin fruit setting. The walnut harvesting season takes place from September to October each year. When the walnuts are ripe and the outer hull begins to crack open, revealing the hard shell inside that encases the nut. The process of harvesting walnuts mechanically in California is a high-tech operation performed using a series of specialized equipment. Due to the large number of trees that need to be harvested in a short period, Farms typically use shaker machines to harvest the nuts. Before this step, harvesters check the readiness of the walnuts by sampling the nuts. When the green outer hull of the nut starts to dry and can easily separate from the shell, 
This is a sign that the trees are ready to be shaken. The tree shaker is equipped with a mechanical arm that can encircle the trunk of the tree. This arm is padded to avoid damaging the tree bark. During operation, the arm adjusts to tightly fit around the trunk and then creates strong vibrations that shake the tree, causing the ripe walnuts to fall to the ground. The shaker can be adjusted to accommodate the size and firmness of the trunk, ensuring maximum efficiency without causing harm. The vibrations must be strong enough to dislodge the nuts but not damage the tree or branches. The fallen walnuts then cover the ground. To collect them, a mechanical sweeper is used to sweep the nuts into windrows, neatly arranged rows of nuts. The sweeper works by pushing the nuts into rows, preparing them for the next collection step. It then moves along the rows of walnuts, using a conveyor belt to collect the nuts. The walnuts travel on the conveyor belt to a container at the rear. As they move, debris and leaves are also removed. The machine is designed to gently collect the nuts without causing damage. After harvesting, the walnuts are loaded onto a conveyor belt and transferred to trailers or trucks for transportation to the processing facility. Upon arrival at the processing site, the walnuts are unloaded and transferred into a holding pit, leading to a second conveyor belt. Here, workers methodically inspect, sort, and remove any unwanted debris and contaminants among the nuts. After unloading, the nuts are moved to a mobile conveyor for elevation. This movement also aids in sorting the nuts until they reach the de-hauling area. Walnuts are then passed through a water washing system to remove dirt. The harvested walnuts may contain debris or unripe nuts. The sorting system eliminates these parts before dehulling to prevent damage or contamination. The plant uses a drying system to process the harvested walnuts, transitioning them from their green outer hull to the familiar dry-shelled nuts ready for consumption or further processing. Dehauling is primarily performed by machines, with various types of dehullers such as mechanical disc or water tube dehullers, each employing specific techniques for efficient removal of the hull. After visually inspecting the product, the walnuts are transferred to another part of the facility where they are sorted by size. The most efficient method uses gravity where the nuts are placed into a large container with holes of varying sizes for sorting. Holes on the surface or screen decrease in size, allowing smaller nuts to fall through at different points, only retaining those that meet standards. The dehulling process is performed by cracking the shells. For large-scale operations, Mechanical shell cracking machines are the common method. These machines apply controlled pressure to crack the shells without damaging the nuts inside. Cylinders within the machine allow the nuts to move along, programmed to gently crack the shells to avoid damaging the nuts. Afterward, the nuts are arranged to separate from the shell fragments.
The workers are assigned the task of manually sorting the walnuts in this area. After sorting, the nuts are transferred to another area for drying. Newly de-hulled walnuts have a high moisture content, making them prone to mold and spoilage. The drying process helps reduce the moisture content to a safe level, about 6 to 8 percent. There are several drying methods, one of which involves using mechanical dryers that circulate hot air around the nuts, effectively removing moisture. To ensure the nuts are not overdried, workers regularly check the moisture content. Walnuts come in various varieties to meet market demands. To determine which nuts go into which product, quality tests are performed. Some nuts are suitable for snack products, while others are better for food production. Sterilization involves applying heat or other treatments to eliminate bacteria. The walnuts are then taken to the final quality control area, where workers manually inspect for any defects and remove any damaged nuts. Once approved, the nuts are packaged in various sizes and weights, ready for transportation and widespread distribution. Now you have an overview of how American farmers grow and harvest millions of tons of walnuts each year. From selecting the right varieties, planting the trees, to modern harvesting methods like using tree shakers and nut pickers, each step is meticulously and scientifically executed to ensure high efficiency. So the next time you enjoy a crispy walnut or a dish made from walnuts, remember all the effort that went into bringing these nuts to you. Thank you for joining me throughout this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content about the world of agriculture. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.